Good afternoon, John. Um, speaking about the identity of your club, offensively specifically, are you missing the old sort of Blue Jackets simple funnel pucks to the net go hard approach, the north, south? And, and do you know, it seems like you guys are kind of caught in between a, a, a trying to be too skilled, trying to be, um, I don't know, too distant and not quite as direct as you used to be. Is that fair? Well, I think we're always trying to play north as quickly as possible. Um, um, as, as I said last week, I think, uh, I, I do think we're in between. We're, we're uh, grinding versus skill. Uh, we, we can't set up, uh, it, it's, it's difficult to set up an identity of, of the club where, uh, you know, a little bit of personnel has changed. Uh, we kind of we kind of lived on that. Uh, um, put it behind the D grind underneath the hash marks. If there's an offensive play to be made, we'll try to make it. But a big part of our foundation was uh, was the stiffness and the grinding. Um, as I said, quite honestly, the, the, it's changed a bit within our lineup. It's hard to uh, to get to that as often as we'd like to, but it certainly shouldn't hinder us. Uh, from playing north, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure if that answers your question, but we're trying to play as fast as possible, uh, and uh, and we allow the players to make the decision if they feel they can make a play, uh, make a play. If not, we've got to put it behind their D and, and do some forechecking. The forechecking part of our game has showed up more and more the past uh, two or three games, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, yeah, so I'll answer it that way. So when you coach them right now, are you coaching them more towards hard to the net, simple, like you used to do? Or are you trying to incorporate aspects of your game that sort of fit the skill component that's there? Now? Well, I, I think when you when you when you look at your personnel of your team, you're trying to put them in and coach them to a uh, an area where it's going to be successful, that you have the best chance of being successful. Um, yeah, it, it, it's been. It, it's been difficult because it isn't, uh, this isn't, this, this, you know, you guys keep on trying to go back to what we were three years ago. We're not that team. You know, how can, I can't say it any, any cleaner. We're not that team. We, personnel has changed. Uh, we're teaching other guys. Uh, uh, it's, it's a different, it's a different group of forwards and, and we're trying to be as successful as we can without uh, uh, trying to uh, drive a, square peg into a round hole uh, with some guys. So it's a hard question for me to answer, Portsy, because it, you just don't coach each player the same way. Yeah. I was intrigued to see Felino, Jenner, Atkinson together. That's kind of an old school line for this group. Is that is that just something for you to hang your hat on? You know you have one line that you know you're going to get a certain a predictable performance out of those guys at least? Well, for, for a bit there, I, I thought Jack, Patty, and Cam, they, they played a number of good games uh, when I had them together. It, uh, you know, and so we're, uh, I, I think that's dried up a little bit. I, I think it's been a struggle. I think it's been a struggle in our end zone uh, uh, with that line. So I, I think I need to split it up, not only to try to, uh, try to uh, rejuvenate some offense, but also to play away from the puck. Uh, so... You know, I, 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 I've been, it's been, I've been in the middle mostly all year long here because it's not that I want to be in the middle or in between. It is what it is. And uh, um, I'm trying to do the best I can to try to keep lines together uh, to give us the best chance to succeed. But when I see things dry up and I see some struggles in our end zone, there's going to be some changes. Th those guys have played together. You, you, you know, you know you're going to have two hard workers. Uh, Cam's a hard worker also, but you got a bit of a sniper there with them. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, uh, you know, th this has been a problem for us uh, all year long. Is trying to uh, settle on uh, on what we want to do, and uh, I, I know I'd love to be able to settle. I can't. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Bill Rabinowitz. Go ahead, Bill. Hi, John. Uh, about Nick, um, he had the chance the other night where he hit the post and couldn't put in the rebound. Um, how would you kind of assess the way he's played this year? Who? Nick, Nick Felino. Nick? 
Nick, Nick's, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, if I start assessing one player, then you guys are going to start asking me to other players. We're a below 500 team. It's not going to be a hell of a lot of good assessments on players. So uh, and, and Nick is, uh, has played in spurts just like everybody else. I'll put it to you that way. And I would imagine that this would be a challenging year to be a captain just because of the circumstances. How, how has he done in that role? Nick has been a good leader for us right on through. I'm not sure what the circumstance is. I, I think as a captain, it doesn't matter what circumstance is, is going on with your club. You, you, uh, you need to read the room and act accordingly. I, I think Nick has grown tremendously uh, in, in the past years that I've been dealing with him. And uh, I think he's done a really good job this year.